to another episode guys of sports talk with dt hope i want to ask you all to hit that like button subscribe as we get right into the latest news baby happy friday to you all i pray everyone have a safe travel to work and whatever you got going on for this glorious day starting right out we're going to be discussing about the milwaukee bucks and the boston celtics that was a great game guys they came out to be a double digit win by the Milwaukee Bucks, but guys, we got a lot in store to talk about. Also, we'll be discussing the Suns and the Lakers as LeBron tried to take back the West and do what he needed to do to be ready for the end season tournament in a couple months. But guys, before we get started with all that, I want to do a small promotion for Sunkiss. This drink here, guys, is one of the best drinks I think that Sunkiss just came out with. That watermelon lemonade, oh my God. Go to your local store, guys, and pick that up. You won't be let down. Let's take a swig. Cheers. Ah, woo, it's so smooth and good. Let's take one more. Mm, mm, mm. That thing there. Is a thirst quencher indeed. But yeah, guys, moving right along. I pray all is well with y'all. Have a safe travels back and from work. And uh, all in all, you know, we're just going to stay focused and keep God first, baby. But with that being said, let's jump right into it, guys. Um, those Lakers, they played a mean game. Um, they came out with their field goal percentage. At the end of the game was 50%, which was actually better than the Suns. That was one area of the game where they actually put forth some effort to try to stand out a little bit. But the end of the game results was 127 to 109 Suns. The Suns players, they played some great basketball, guys. Um, they had 12 steals to... The Lakers eight steals, and they also had 36 points in the first quarter against the Lakers only had 27. So they beat them by double digits in the first quarters, which gave them that arm reach into finishing this game strong. Guys, it was a great game. We're going to get right into some, some videos and let y'all see what them guys had and what they did. Also, let's talk about those Milwaukee Bucks and the Boston Celtics. They played a great game. Speaking of the Milwaukee Bucks, guys, they led, they had a big lead in the first quarter, which gave them a chance to take on out the Boston Celtics. Even though the Boston Celtics had um, a big fourth quarter, it wasn't enough to beat Giannis in those books, they played phenomenal. They had 37% field goal percentage against uh, Boston's 56%. So Boston outdid them with the percentage of the game, but it was some things in the game that propelled Milwaukee over Boston, which was their free throws. They had 25 for 30 at the free throw line, and they re out rebounded the Boston Celtics. Um, 54 to 31. That's almost a double digit rebound factor there. That was great for keeping Milwaukee above the Boston Celtics. <clears throat> Guys, if you haven't watched it, go over there and check that out on House of Highlights. They have some great highlights of Milwaukee Bucks shooting it from the three and just, you know, taking off on the Bucks, man, but uh, on the Boston Celtics. Um, we want to thank y'all as always for tuning in. And rocking with your boy. And the guys, this was a great show. And I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Stay blessed. Stay motivated.
And until next time, guys, another episode of Sports Talk with DT Hope, baby. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Comes Devin Booker. He is 13th in scoring. Durant with a three. Oh, you got Vanderbilt starting the second half for the Lakers, so that's going to hurt him. He's their best. Wow, guys. After 21 years, LeBron still slashed into the hoop like he's 21 years old. Keep it up, brother. Big ups. Good at night. Two for eight now. Oh, oh, Lillard hangs and finishes. Woo-wee. This was a good game, guys. Watching them Baltimore Celtics with Jason Tatum and them go up against Giannis and Damian Lillard. Man, I swear it doesn't get any high flyer. Comes Grayson Allen. Cross court Durant. He'll fire a three and put it. I see you, KD. Sliding in on in there with a nice little jumper. Man, between you and Devin Booker and Bradley Beal, y'all guys did y'all thing. Keep it up. Coaching adjustment here. Well, for Coach Missoula, it's quite an adjustment, gentlemen. He's going with a whole new group of players. That's right. The starters are all sitting to start the second half. He said it was not the players' decision they wanted to play. It's strictly a coach's decision. And he was a little sarcastic and instead of furious. He said... Oh. This was interesting to see the Milwaukee Bucks blow out the Boston Celtics. This is definitely a rare moment because the Boston Celtics ain't going to have nobody blowing them out at halftime. This we know for a fact. But anyway, guys, I thank y'all as always for tuning in and rocking with Sports Talk with DT Hope. It was a pleasure. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe. Happy Friday to y'all. Turn up, baby. Let's get these likes up so we can get into the algorithm and push our videos up to the top because we bring in the best podcast with sports, baby. You know this, man. <laughs> Happy Friday and see you on the next one. We out. Y'all. Yeah. Let's go. You guys know what it is. Yeah, we live to make things right. And we finna make this one right for sure. Get that roll on your wrist. Yeah. Watch it here. Watch it here. Roll it on your wrist like this. Like this, like this. Yeah, watch how that roller go here. Yeah.